every now and then there is a need to go ahead and flash a new ROM or factory reset your device or switch to a device. Now at such times the first question that arises is what do I do about my data? You know you have a tons of things today. You have your apps that are installed. You have your WhatsApp chats that are very very important. Then you have your app data for example if there is a progress in a game that has been there for a while. Apart from that you have your photos, your videos, your music files, your call history, your text messages my goodness that's a lot to take care of and that's where this video comes into picture now we're going to show you a complete guide using some tools and some interesting hacks that you can back up each and everything from your phone before you format it switch to a different rom or switch to a different device hello everyone my name is kalash and you're watching phone ops this video is going to be very very interesting and useful for you even two years down the line if you're using an android device it will be very very useful so please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon and share it with your friends because we make amazing content like this every single day now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops let's get going Now, what we have here is the Poco X3 Pro running the latest Evolution X. Now, we're gonna switch to Pixel Experience, but before that, as I said, I need to back up all my data, right? Now, WhatsApp can be very, very finicky or picky when it allows you to restore app data or not. So, as far as WhatsApp is concerned, I rely on Google Drive backups, which is a very, very safe way to go about it. So, you just need to go to settings, you need to go to chats and chat backup. Make sure that you've selected end-to-end -end encryption for safety and you can select backup over here and you can choose what Google account you want. You can also choose options like backup using cellular and you can include videos in the backup as well. Now this will work for WhatsApp and WhatsApp business but the thing to remember is if you have WhatsApp and WhatsApp business installed make sure you back up to a different Google account most of the time. Same Google account is not a problem but try to keep it different so that you can have your safety as far as personal and business chats are concerned. Now that was everything about WhatsApp. But let me tell you this, Google on their own in Android devices has been providing backup methods since a very long time. Now to access that, what you need to do is you need to go to settings, right? And then you need to look for this setting called Google. The moment you click on Google, you will have this option called backup. Now before you actually go to the backup section, please ensure that this is your primary email address to which you're backing up to, okay? And uh, normally you will get 15 gigabytes of storage space. So if you don't have a lot of data on your phone, like a lot of photos and videos, you should be fine. But if not, then it would be a good practice to get 100 GB of Google Drive storage. It really helps. I use it on my primary account. Now, as you can see over here, three hours back, there was a backup done. And you can click to backup now as well, just before switching your device or formatting the device. Now it will backup all your apps that were installed, not the app data, okay? Photos and videos will be backed up, of course. It will also show you what synchronization has happened, like latest photos and videos have been backed up or not. Your call history will be taken care of, but this can be not so reliable. So we will choose another app for that. Device settings and Google account data. Now, the moment you click on backup, make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi. If you're on 5G with an unlimited plan, it's up to you. But most of the time, make sure you're on a good Wi-Fi connection and make sure you have more than 50% battery because this backup method does tend to take like 15, 20, 30 minutes makeup, depending on your data and it eats up quite a lot of your battery as well, right? Now, that was everything about Google backup. So, as far as our photos and videos are concerned, I solely rely on Google Photos. I give all my access to Google Photos and it backs up everything thing to my Google Drive that is the Google photo storage as you can see it is 70% full despite having 100 gigabytes and if you keep it on whenever you get back to Wi-Fi automatically your photos are backed up so that is a very good way to back up your photos so now comes the main part you know call history SMS and all the other things so there is this free app called Swift backup I had subscribed to the premium plan but my premium plan subscription is over so now I'm using the free version just like you guys so if you go to Swift backup over here you just have to give it a few authorizations and as you can see it will save your wallet papers it will save your wi-fi network it will save your call logs messages and apps as well now in case you have root access you can go a level further and you know go for the premium version which will allow you to back up app data as well but app data backup and restore is a hit and miss whatsapp doesn't allow you to do that sometimes facebook and instagram will also start acting up so don't rely on that the free version is more than great so you can go ahead and do that as you can see you can select any of these or all of these okay and you can choose to connect it to any cloud service of your choice where you have a lot of data. So unlike Google where you need to have a Google account with Google storage, this is something that allows you to back up multiple devices as you can see. 
I have my Ico 90, my Ico 11, Ico Neo 6, my Note 10 Pro, Mi 90 Pro, so many devices with different tags. So go ahead and select this. Okay. Now it is going to connect to an online service. In this case, we will connect to Google. Now another good thing about this particular app is you can schedule everyday backups. Like when you're asleep, you can go ahead and turn on a schedule and you can see what all you want to backup. So it'll ask you to purchase if you want to do that. Now apart from that, you can have cloud synchronization as I mentioned and you can just go ahead and backup everything to the internal storage. So batch actions, you know, you can go ahead and select app labels. You can select what messages you want to back up. You can select your call log. So we can, you know, just going to create a backup here and we're going to send it to the device as well as the cloud. Now, another good thing here is you can back up everything to the phone's internal storage and copy it to a pen drive or your laptop or computer. And then once your device is switched, you can just copy it to the same folder again. That is the Swift backup folder and it will allow you to restore from that device tag as well. So you can say, you know, restore data from a Mi 11X to a Poco X3 Pro as well as, you know, as long as your files and folders are in a safe place. So let's see what we have here. We have your photos and videos taken care of. Your music files, if you have any, you just have to copy them to the computer, right? Now, apart from this, Swift Backup takes care of your messages and call logs and apps along with app data if you have a premium version. And all in all, WhatsApp is backed up to Google Drive. So this is your complete device that has been backed up using just two or three different services and you know you do it once or twice you will get used to it which will make your life much much easy now you let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video i'll see you in the next one keep smiling take care goodbye